VMware Cloud on AWS is an on-demand service for running applications across vSphere-based cloud environments. Powered by VMware Cloud Foundation, this service integrates familiar VMware services. It's also optimized to run on dedicated, elastic, bare-metal AWS infrastructure. All that capability takes just a few clicks to set up. And once it's deployed, you'll have a software-defined data center, or SDDC, running in a newly created AWS account managed by VMware. Here's how you do it. After signing up for VMware Cloud on AWS and signing in, you create a cross-account role. This role connects your new VMware Cloud account to a new Amazon Virtual Private Cloud, or VPC, on your AWS account. Once they're connected, VMware leads you through setting the properties of your SDDC stack. This SDDC is similar to your on-premises version, but hosted on AWS in a new Amazon VPC and is delivered as a service. After that, you choose which Amazon VPC you want to connect to. Next, you also choose the subnet you want to use. The subnet corresponds to the AWS availability zones where your SDDC hosts are deployed. Last, you have the option of defining a range of IP addresses for your management subnet. That's all there is to it. Click Deploy SDDC, and VMware creates your SDDC stack in under two hours in most cases. With your SDDC deployed, you can manage your virtual infrastructure and workloads using the VMware tools that you're used to. With VMware Cloud on AWS, live migration is easy. For individual migration of VMs, you can use vMotion. Or for bulk migration, you can leverage Hybrid Cloud Extension, or HCX, both with no downtime. Leveraging native AWS services is easy. For example, Accessing Amazon S3 storage simply involves allowing traffic through an Amazon S3 endpoint. Here's how you'd set it up. First, in AWS, you create an endpoint in the VPC connected to your VMware Cloud on AWS account. Second, configure the VPC's security group to allow traffic with the VM in your SDDC. You just need to specify the range of IP addresses you want to allow. Third, Make sure in the VMware console that the connected Amazon VPC allows S3 access through the Elastic Network interface. And last, create a firewall rule to allow HTTPS access to the connected Amazon VPC. With VMware Cloud on AWS, you can now also take advantage of native AWS services. For example, Amazon Elastic File System or EFS, provides file storage for your Amazon instances. With EFS, you can create and mount a file system on your EC2 instances and VMware Cloud on AWS VMs, and read and write data from your VMs to and from your file system. You can also interact with other widely used AWS services, such as Amazon Aurora for your relational database needs. So why not combine the familiarity and reliability of VMware tools with the flexibility of native AWS services? Contact us today to learn more about how you can leverage the power of VMware Cloud on AWS.